my jam, this is my vibe. Okay, sweet. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the B&O stream. My name is Bando and I hope you enjoy being on the B&O stream uh, here on this fine 4th of July 2022. Happy Independence Day to all the United States of Americans out there. Um, Canada's Day of National Day celebration. Is it an Independence Day? It was some... It was... I, I need to research this. Um, <laughs> it was like July 1st. So you got one of the two. They both have to come up next to each other. Here in Australia, uh, our Federation Day is uh, January 1st. They said January 1st, 1901, just, you know, unite the states and call it a federation. But uh, I guess also there was the landing day, which was um, not actually the day that they found Australia or the day the first fleet rocked up. It was like the day that the first fleet rocked up then realized that where they rocked up wasn't that kind. So they decided to move down a bit and it's there that they actually like rocked up. It was something along those lines. Uh, I hope you're having a swell week, a tremendous week. Uh, it is the beginning of July. Uh, technically streamed on the first, so I've got no excuse. Um, but this stream, uh, you know, we're spicing things up because Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a done and dusted game. Uh, so why don't, why don't I do the magical thing, which is to start, this is going to be very gutsy of me, because this game does not pick up on OBS very nicely. So I'm going to risk it by sharing my desktop. I know, right? So here we go. Let's do this. Oh, oh you didn't see nothing. See? Smooth transition. Uh, look at this video game. Oh, there it is. Look at this video game. By Bullfrog Productions. And get a wonderful intro full motion video sequence. Uh, the full motion video sequence, there exists a few in this game, so perhaps on different playthroughs we'll be seeing, or different sessions we'll be seeing different ones. Uh, does this give you great joy? I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I never know how to explain this, but uh, this is Theme Park World. It's a game... Well, there's the Comic Sans, first of all. Hope you enjoy that. Um, Theme Park World. Oh. Don't I know you? The Click lightning is horrendous, I'll tell you that. Click on a new player button to get started. Uh, but uh, this is Theme Park World. This is a park builder developed by Bullfrog. Bullfrog, uh, best known for developing the original Theme Park game back in 1994, and also for developing games like Dungeon Keeper. And uh, did they do um, Black and White? I think they did. Uh, but this game did not have the uh, the Molyneux treatment, unfortunately. It was uh, a bit more homegrown, although I do know the, um, the music composer of this game has gone on to do a lot of other things that you might recognize, so have a look on Wikipedia page, because I forgot who the name is. Uh, we got a bunch of player slots I have, you know, I've tested that this game does indeed work. Uh, so we're going to create a new player. Type your name into the text. Uh, you know, like but he's streaming. Oh, full uh, I guess we'll just say. Click the tech you know, streaming. Um, this is a theme park builder. Uh, it's a kind of interesting one, but probably a bit of a chill one. So we'll see how it goes. You got two modes: one called instant action, which is for people who don't know how to play the game, and full simulation, which is for people who don't know how to play the game, but actually they make progress at it. We'll click the OK button, and uh, the game. Away we go. This area is called the lobby. And from here, uh, you you're gonna to four be kind of weirded out by this ant here. Move between them by clicking the arrow buttons on the control panel. Uh, he's gonna to give, give a lot of exposition as well, and I'm you gonna talk over him. Um, here's one now to get you started. But here's basically the goal of the game. Uh, you've got these four parks. Right uh, and You'll each park some requires some keys to enter. You have one key that you can that you start off with. And you can enter either the Lost Kingdom or the Halloween world, depending on which one you feel like. 
Uh, but you can see that the space zone takes five keys and the Wonderland takes three keys. So you're going to need to get some more keys in these parks. Uh, there's an online button, uh, which back in the day you used to be able to go online and actually um, uh, like share your parks online. And also I think you could share your coasters. I'm not too exactly sure, but uh, I think if, you've, if you're coming in to this game thinking that it's going to be like Rollercoaster Tycoon, a little along the lines, but it's, uh, it's a little bit simplified down. But I think it's got enough character on its own that it'll be a bit of a fun, interesting watch as well. Uh, so let's go in to the Lost Kingdom, um, which will be the first park. And uh, no, he here it goes. About here. Of course. Enter a land of prehistoric mystery, where reptilian giants roam the land, and where you season the primordial soup. Welcome to Lost Kingdom, the theme park that time forgot. Okay, uh, so it's going to give a lot of other expositions throughout the game, but uh, I'm going to start off by going, you can click, you can build land. Uh, also, you're going to hear the ant, like, clear his throat every single time I cut him off, which is going to happen all the time. Like, just listen to this. This is where you... <clears throat> this screen... <clears throat> this is where you... <clears throat> this... <clears throat> He's just going to keep doing it. Um, so yeah. Other than that, fairly simple game. You've got a build or a buy button where we can buy some rides. Rides have different Move prices. To uh, I'm going to build <clears throat> this ride right here. This is called Belly Bounce. This is there's a dinosaur <clears throat> who shows up See and he starts waggling around. Left part of the um, please, the by the way, if you if things. you are in chat in the live more. chat, try and suggest the that names for the anything, the including the name of the park. Which, by the way, one thing I really love about this game is the fact that like you've got you know you know the the names of the rides right there. But you can just you go can like, oh, instead of Lost Kingdom, this, this is, uh, one of the place, dinosaur games. To adjust and it legitimately <laughs> play, renames the thing in proper fun on the, on the screen. It's hilarious. Um, and even bonus points, you'll see it at the end. This name appears on the, on the, the main menu. This, you will visibly see those names in there. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna continue on, to build uh, a building a bit of a path. Uh, I think the main kind of point of the game is just don't, First like, move the blueprint to the site you don't, want. like, spam too much money, but you can, you can be pretty generous. This game is not that difficult. Um, the character of it comes from how cool First these rides move. look. There's a lot of, like, neat, you. neat rides all around. Um, and all the ones in this, uh, in, or rather in each park are all themed after a certain... Uh, kind of, kind of, I guess, just a motif. Um, oops. I'd, I'd like to maybe get rid of, uh, what's the, what's the button to get rid of it? Is it Z, X? Hey, not X. Like Don't tell me about the tickets. I'm yeah, trying to figure out how to delete a right, a delete a thing. Do I press like delete here? Rides. I do press things delete. Okay. Because right. I need that <laughs> that line to be a little longer. Great uh, gonna keep talking over you. Don't. Why don't you try it? I can't cut them off right now. Um. All right. So you've got a bunch of rides. I just built all the rides. Just one of each of the rides. You've got these um these things called sideshows. And what the sideshows are is that they're little games that uh your uh customers or you can your, view and your, edit the details you know, of the people in your park come up to and then there's a cost that they go in a, a prize that they could win and then a chance and the of how, the, how the often they win it and the idea is that you take some money of it in, but your park is closed you should think about opening up yeah okay fine we'll open up and then and then tell me off for all these other things so here's all these people you don't have enough mechanics to make yes i know i don't have enough mechanics Maybe i also know i don't have more. a balloon shop which is a big problem you know so you can rotate uh items I like putting all my shops next to each other. Like just here, right here. So if you want to go over here, you got to go to the, you know, to your corner of the map. Uh, let's build a bit of a line here. Oh, that was some fun pathfinding. Uh, so yeah, so you got your side shops, you got your shop shops are simple enough. It's just shops of different types. Uh, and then lastly, you've got your features. Uh, your features. Uh, 
pretty we much just the other scientists. things. This is going to include things like a uh, litter box, which you're obviously going to want. That is a pelican, but sure. Okay. Some other ones that you probably do want is a security fountain. Um, you definitely want a toilet, wherever you go, so just make sure there's enough toilets. And I'm also going to build a staff room. I'm going to put the staff room maybe in the other corner of the map here, so it's a bit out of the way. Uh, and that introduces us to staff. You've got this cleaners, you you're going to cut them off. You've got your cleaner, this you've got your mechanic, you, you have fat guys you know, and thin guys. They're just someone. visually, you know, two different kinds. This is where you, you got your entertainers, which are apparently some someone. people questionably, like, don't think they have any use. Um, you got your security guards, they kick people out, I think. And you got your researchers. Um, I never know how many researchers to have, but once you now have a researcher, you've got a research panel. And what the research panel does is that it effectively, you know, what do you want to put, you know, put time in into. Uh, you can make your scientists kill themselves. Uh, you can make them stupid. I don't know, man. There's something in the middle. There's something in the middle. I'm always, like, worried about this one. He knows something I don't. Then I just make him die on the inside. You can also put more effort into different categories. Generally, you're gonna unlock everything anyways, so up to you whether you want to prioritize stuff, but I like just kind of evenly going for all of them because you'll kind of get through all the rest. I'm also gonna buy more researchers because I think it's fun to just like completely max out stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, there'll be more researchers later on. Um, You've got a... You use the plus and minus buttons on this screen. You've got a... Oh my gosh. Maybe I should cut off the tutorials. Ah, I'll talk over them. Um, yeah, you've got, a, you've got a finance screen where you can you set can the ticket the price. Yes, that is on the only thing to do on the screen. You can also uh, do a staff training budget. I am not too sure what this screen actually does. Um, given that you can also view your stuff and... You can find out about your oh, okay, okay. I just recently played the PS1 version just to kind of remind myself of how this game was. And then I realized the PS1 version kind of skimps a few things here and there. Um, so in that version, all your stuff were just trained by levels and you'd manually click on one and train them individually. Uh, I assume this is basically he has a skill stat and you put this some points into, or put some money into it Look here to, to level them up. I think that's what you go, or to at least skill them up. Then you can also this view your park balance against its value, and then your the money in, takings, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and lastly, you can take out money, take loans, out pretty normal. Uh, one thing if you can also always respond to this message them. here. This is a very important message. Because if they say the ticket price is low, that is more money that you can gouge out of them. I like increasing it by uh, 20 at a time. And then waiting for the next message. Don't worry that it's got a down arrow here. We're just waiting for more people to show up. And also the researchers to figure out more more things. Because, yeah. This is a list of all uh, the things. <laughs> the PS1 version has a... Uh, it's a little bit simpler. But also... A little bit more immediate, but it's also a lot easier of a game. Um, but I'm playing the PC version. This is the version, the Windows 98 slash 2000 slash ME. I'm not too sure if ME was out, but um, surprisingly, this PC version almost runs fine on Windows 10 out of the box. Except it doesn't. It requires one guy's very lovely patch, which complains if you ran the game before you installed the patch. You have to basically un un uh create several registry values to make it work but the nice thing is this is not with dg voodoo this is running directly off your graphics cards api so it looks pretty all right i guess the only thing i noticed was there was a a one pixel gap between the message when it showed up here so that's okay um the other things you've got in this game just as a nice little feature thing is that you've got a, a map which controls terribly because you have to click these individual buttons, but you can at least like see, you know, uh, I guess various staff things, where the rides are, um, customer satisfaction. It's a nice map to at least have an overview of what your park is like, but it's probably not the easiest to um, completely understand what's going on. Uh, thank you for the follow, Cebu. Uh, appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying what is going on here and uh just a reminder 
Hello, fellow retro streamer, have a good stream. Oh, thank you, my man. Thank you. I would say have a good stream too. Greeny from Finland. Ooh, Finland. The other side of the world. Like, the actual other... Well, it's not quite the other side, because, like, I think I'd be somewhere in the Atlantic, but I'm pretty pretty close to the other side of the world. We could do, like, a kind of lopsided sandwich. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. Ah, he's praising me, so... Uh, so I'll mention a few other differences with the PS1 version of the game, and I'm trying to recall, what's this game, uh, like, down under? Yeah, exactly. Down, down in an Australia, mate. You know what? You're really close to winning a golden ticket. I'm really ticket. close to winning a Just golden a ticket? Okay. Into the park um. and it'll be yours. <laughs> so, I, I guess if you've played Roller Coaster Tycoon, there's a few things that you'll probably know are lacking. First of all, there's no advertising. People just come to your park. I'm just like, all these kids come in and you're like, cool. Which, by the way, here's a fun feature. You can press here and there's a camcorder button. And you can just be on the ground. And the ride never stops. Exactly. But you can just go on the ground and like, get a wonderful, kind of engrossing first person view of your park. It's really cool. And you may be wondering, like, oh, that's kind of neat. But you can oh actually... Gosh. You are so close to winning okay, I got, You can so many get onto a ride and witness the joys of getting on this dinosaur ride. Uh, the original theme park, quite a lot on the Amiga 500. Ooh, that's cool. I've always been curious about playing it. Um, uh, never know which version specifically to play. I think I've been spoiled by newer park sims. I think um, uh, like my go-to one is um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. That's pretty much my go-to. I, I enjoy the original Roller Coaster Tycoons, but I find the isometric angle is a little tricky for me to play. Um, and I really enjoyed this one. I have... I don't know... Oh, I don't know what happened to the box. I wish I still had the box, but I've got the sleeve. I've got I've got two little just paper sleeves with Theme Park World discs on them. So, uh, I played them a ton as a kid. Um, and I feel like one thing I really, like latch onto this game is just like the fun presentation you got this like wacky font for the dollars up here it's like transport tycoon deluxe is so open tdd though yeah i would legitimately just play that for hours i i can just always go back and look transport tycoon um yeah if there's one thing with this game is that i'm obviously gonna hit like limits at, at various points and of course uh you're gonna notice there's no fast forward button so <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting here, and there will be times where nothing's happening, because I just need to buy more researchers. I swear, I will sink all my money into researchers. The toilets are getting dirty. Purely to go up. You should check that a cleaner is patrolling, and have him pop in. Have, have him poop in? Oh, I know I said pop in, but... Alright. So, let's, uh, let's go over to my staff. Can... Let's... <laughs> Oops, that's the fire button. We're not firing him yet. You want to know the secret of getting the most out of your employees? Yeah, I know. Give them some direction. Try setting the patrol areas. There you go, you're happy? Uh, let's go back over to the other guy. Uh, so he's you know got a patrol what? area. Really close to winning a golden ticket. Just get a few more visitors and into the let's park let him and go over there. Yours. I think you can actually... Can you view... Yeah, you can view their areas on this map. Although you can't tell who exactly is part of each area. But it's not too bad. Um, uh, interestingly, the PS1 version lacks the map. There's no way to visualize where all your uh, patrol zones are. And then on top of that, um, yeah, I mentioned that uh, the um, the staff get individually leveled. You get so many of these alerts as well on the PS1 version. There's a crazy number, and like it'll tell you an alert for you're doing a good job. But like, yeah, you only need the alerts that actually you need the action on. Um, and also you don't get to have them in a nice browse like it. I I know, right? I know. How many visitors are in the park? 73, 74. Okay, so uh. The PS1 version also lacks the uh, this chart. And the winner is... Oh wow! Congratulations, you've won a golden. I hadn't ticket. hit a hundred yet, unless you meant the total, in which case, sure, okay, I hit the total of a hundred. Uh, but yeah, no, that's your that's your end goal well, is time. to get these golden you tickets. Uh, golden you can ticket. spend the golden tickets on you might want mystery to ride. The mystery items you can buy with it. By the way, for every three golden tickets you win, you also get a golden key. As you know, you'll need keys to open up the other parts. Yeah, so that's that's your inevitable goal is to get these um, now that you've won a golden uh, ticket, get these golden tickets so you can more. buy the special rides. 
Just make the part really great. Get lots of people Just make the part, part good. That's how you do. Oh, no, the dinosaur died. Oh, no. Even making a lot of oh, the poor dinosaur. I love, I love these little animations just to get the, you know, these things. I don't know. Like, you just watch Roller Coaster Tycoon and it's very straightforward. I, I know. I know. Belly Bounce did die. It, it did die, yes. Thank you for telling me. Um, I. I know, I know, it did die. Um, PS1 version also fails to mention which rides break down. It just kind of tells you that a ride breaks down. Um, later in the game, you'd also have, like, employees go on strike. Oh my, don't tell me, Belly- Oh my gosh. I know, I know. So, uh, one other thing I kind of like as well is that you don't just necessarily put down the ride. You can increase, like, the capacity to have more people on it. You can increase the duration, which makes it more fun. Um, but no, as well... Yeah, I get it. There's a litter bug running amok in the park. You should get a cleaner on the case and clean up the mess. Oh my gosh, okay. He is not shutting up now. The park's going. He's going. Um... But you can also make it faster if you want, just to make it more exciting. Uh, but obviously you gotta deal with the reliability, and then, yeah, there's, you know, this is like a derivative, and then this is not really a second derivative. But it's a long, a long uh, life of the ride, and the ride will full die at various points. So you just gotta, you know, you just gotta get rid of it at some point. Oh, and speaking of, so you can click on it, you can click, let's upgrade it to level 2. That closes off the ride, tells all these people to bugger off, but it's got a different border. This person is not getting off. And I got a no new feature. Also, let's put down these features, because they're kind of neat. Look at that thing. Look at that. What is that face? Um, I don't really think there's a crazy practical like reason to have the features they're just there to like look nice i guess <laughs> give your park some character um so yeah also yes you can rotate the hint. camera around i know if you get a good number of people into this park oh, there you, go. you could win a golden ticket i already i already did bro you don't have to keep telling me that i can that I have to get people in the park uh let's put another security camera in right here Security cameras are basically like not guards. They're cheaper than guards, but did something break? Did anything just break on me? No, the crazy ape. Don't panic. There is oh. a problem with We gotta think rides. of some names of these rides. Make that a somewhat larger problem. Don't worry, mechanics are on the way. Everything's going to be fine. The rides really didn't break down much in the PS1 version, did they? Oh. Uh, we're not playing the PS1 version. We're playing this one. Um, oh, one last thing I might as well mention about the PS1 version. Uh, it has eight levels instead of four, but there's just two sets of each uh, theme level. Just interestingly, they segment like the rides between the levels a bit. Um, whereas in this one, it's like you get one nice park and you can expand the land as you go along customers at your shops feel like they've had a good deal you're a marketing genius. I didn't even touch the shops as well you got a quality of goods thing uh, which obviously means you get you know less money On this screen, you can view and then you can and raise the, the price uh, same thing with all these the amount of screen, fat is a fun slider I love how that gets to be its to own thing the same thing with the amount of ice this is a cool thing You've built all of the available features. I am researching sure new features, I'll tell you that. Um, oh, last one to rip about the PS1 version. You have to manually select every single thing you want to upgrade. And once you've researched, sorry, you want to research. And then once you have researched it, you've just got to go back into that menu and click another thing or else nothing's happening. PC version, it just happens. Your scientists are killing themselves. But you know what? It's automatically happening. So no problems. Speaking of, we gotta get Darren on the job. Darren's on the case. Look at this ride! Look at this! What is this? <laughs> These people flying around on a red pterodactyl. Going around. Alright. Okay, instead of calling it Jurassic Tours, what are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it like, uh... There we go. 
Pterodactyl. Acrophobia. <laughs> Easy. Ah, yes, I want to ride the pterodactyl acrophobia. I'm going. I'm trying to think of something funny for some of these other ones. But we got a new shop. The fry shop. I love, like, these little shops as well. They're really cool. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a crazy ape. Upgrade. Upgrade. Let's do it. Uh, that's good too. I think the upgrades just improved the uh, excitement a bit. Uh, although apparently uh, Belly Bounce is not exciting you know anymore. I bet if you got a good crowd in here, you'd win a golden He's ticket. He's really wanting me to get the good crowd in here to get the golden ticket, isn't he? A new set of shops, a whole new genre of shopping has become available to research. I... Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, here's the thing as well, if you're, uh, the kind of person to not, uh, you, wait, I'm, <laughs> if you're the kind of person who gets 110 volts in their power outlet because you are an American, uh, congrats, this game is not called Theme Park World in your country, it is called Sim Theme Park, and it does the same thing as Gex, where this weird little ant thing that keeps showing up in the bottom right corner, let's count to three, and he'll show up, you ready, on the count. One, two, three. It was worth a try. Um, <laughs> the one time I wanted to show up and he doesn't show up. Um, to cancel this employee's patrol area, click the patrol area button. Oh man, it's tight. <clears throat> let's get let's get more cleaners. You really need cleaners in this one, don't you? David you Byrne, isn't, isn't about your employees on isn't that the guy the the talking ads? I didn't even set Come this on. name. <clears throat> It looks like you want to set this employee's patrol area. Let's we'll set him another wide area there. How about let's chuck another bin in as well, because it'll make his life a bit easier. Or a bin bird. Hold on, let's uh, let's turn around. Look at that, it's massive. How are the kids going to even get in there? I love this like chip shop though. Cause it's just like a vending machine, but it's shaped like chips. Uh... Oh my gosh, there's some kids like throwing up in the back here. Don't throw up near the fountain, throw up in the fountain. Have you ever been on the, uh... On the, uh... Aztec Mayhem. Hold on. I know you can click on this by the menu. <laughs> this, this is, uh, this is gripping, gripping ride, isn't it? It's like, it, it's not even, like, closed. It's like, you can clearly see this guy sweeping up poop behind you. This is hilarious. Um, same thing with the crazy ape. Like, have you, if you go on it, you're like, oh my goodness. You know, oh my goodness. I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose on. Oh, it goes Let's backwards around. Jeez. That would hurtle everyone out of the ride. Gosh. Oh well. I got a rock. So, I'm happy. This goes next to my other rock. They look very identical. The, the dying. No, the rocky races. One of your rides has broken down. But a mechanic is on the way to fix it. Ah, uh, what is this? Look out! Look out! She's gonna blow! You've got a ride that's about to. There you go, out. driving around in a circle. Woo! Everyone's favorite ride. Let's get another mechanic, cause uh. Your scientists have come up with a new ride. They're going a bit crazy. And yes, there are indeed new rides. Uh, I guess that's my problem with uh, gouging the uh, or. Isolating the um, Eureka. the the research to just uh. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched the new ride. Oh, we've researched the new ride. Oh, oh, that's good too. That's good too. I'm gonna make a. You're gonna go insane after hearing them talk about the new ride upgrades, because ah, oh, that's good too. Um, I'm always curious how long like the cart ride should be. You can make it very short, but there is a golden ticket for having like a long one. And you can make it cross over itself like this, if you want to as well. 
There's all this like area down here that perhaps I should be using. Hold on, let's uh, let's uh. How do you, how do you, how do you go back on the? How do you, how do you go back on the, on the track? I've built some of the track. I don't want all this track. I guess I'm just, I'm just committing. I'm just committing. It's not the longest track. So he didn't give me an achievement for it. You gotta, you gotta watch out. You don't dish all your money on a crazy go-kart, like, track. Well then, yeah, up the capacity. Why not? You don't need the... The speed to be too high, but kind of high is all right. The toilets are getting dirty. There is one toilet, and everyone is waiting for that toilet. Whose pocket. idea was it to have one toilet? Not mine. <laughs> nope, no sorry. No sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's a. a oh, ticket. what did I do? Congratulations! Oh, I did Roll build the exciting go kart track. What? How? What is this shaped like? So I can like claim inspiration. Scientists have discovered a new sideshow. Okay, it's not a cure for a nasty disease, but it's something. It's something. They got laughing hyenas. This is completely a different to the other ride. A new frontier in entertainment appears before us, ready to be researched. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh. I've got an upgrade for this ride, so why don't we do that? That'll make it a little more exciting. Do I have an upgrade for this ride? Nope. Look at that, there's two rows left. There you go. I love this, like, era of, of, um, I guess, like, PC games. Like, this, the late 90s. You know, you, you ever see the, um, I guess, like, the, oh, reminisce on this time. And it was, like, Windows Media Player, and it's, like, chunky skins. Like, the chunky UIs. Did you get for a program that just needs to play and the next button? Like, really? What are you doing with a media player that requires these skins? I don't know, but they're glorious. They're absolutely wonderful. And I feel like this UI is kind of like that. It's like, all you need really is these six buttons, the date somewhere, this bar of happiness that's so imprecise, it's hard to really, hard to really follow it as well. Um, I don't know how you fit more than nine people on this ride. Um... People are finding it's really stinky over there. Let's go over to our thing. Top thoughts. People think things are stinky. Okay. Where's the stink coming from? Am I gonna... Am I gonna just need another... How about let's go into here. Let's start training them. Let's give them 20... 50 bucks. They'll be a bit better. Actually, let's give everyone 50 bucks. You gotta watch out for your other costs. That's your one that you want to really watch out on. About your so obviously, uh, the graph. <clears throat> obviously, I think the only running cost really is your staff. Uh, where's the this menu where gone? You and yeah, your only your only running this cost really is your staff. Your so as long as your money out isn't like, or rather, is you, if your money in, let's you choose which is gate taking, shop sure, takings, and sideshow takings so are just a sum of that, I believe. The buttons on the right side of the um, to set the ticket price. But really, like just your staff cost is the only thing that you're running on. So as long as your staff cost is less than your money in, then you're doing okay. And you gotta make sure that your money out isn't like crazy exceeding. Um, one of your rides is about to break down. Take cover! Or I suppose you could fix it. Oh yeah, you can also actually close the ride down and get the mechanic to fix it before it's hard broken down. It saves this a bit of life. Falling apart. I'm surprised it hasn't broken down already. Click the call mechanic button. Um, also I mentioned that yes, it's this game is called Sim Theme Park in the US. Um, which is interesting because like I always feel like... Or I guess it's playing on the name of Sim City. Like, that was the, the big, the big franchise switched. they had. This was just like, as The Sims the was coming out as well, features. so... They weren't playing on that name, they were just playing on SimCity. Um, and yes, it is an EA game, so they get to do it. Apparently. Uh, let's put the log right there. Look at that, perfect space for a log. Look at that, more chumps coming in. Maybe I should up the price to like, 50 bucks. Although they do pay how much for a balloon? Forty-five dollars for a balloon. A a <clears throat> Listen, it takes it costs less to throw the hyenas. The Move the sliders to change the odds of. Uh, in theory, I guess you could be losing rise. money in the, the sideshows as well, but <laughs> probably not. Wow, look at that font; it barely fits in. 
just wait until they stick a two at the beginning of here. Also starting in the wonderful year of 2000. Visitors, and it's almost won you a golden ticket. It, Put smiles on a few more faces and it'll be yours. I, I'm, okay, sure. Uh, so you may be wondering, what actually are the requirements for these golden tickets? We've discovered a new right. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new right. Upgrade. Okay. Uh, that's good no, no, too. we'll, we'll go on in for it. You may be wondering, what's the requirements for these golden tickets? Well, uh, from what I know of, I could get 11 golden tickets in this park. There's four golden tickets that you're just going to get at some point in all of the parks. Uh, well, as in combined in all of the parks. So one is build a really long go-kart ride. I don't have to build a long go-kart ride in any other park. This is a cool track though. Um, uh, there are also two other kinds of rides you'll see uh, later on. And if you build long versions of those, you'll get a golden ticket. Um, there's also one for later for expanding the uh, boundaries of the park. Uh, your guess is as good as mine how you do that just yet, but... Visitors are really happy and they're buying tons of balloons. Well, not tons. Balloons don't weigh very much, but they're buying a lot. A whole lot. I always find it's weird that this ant guy is completely different in the American version. They pulled the Gex treatment. He's not the same voice actor. Um, so he's... I don't know my Eng my um, my United Kingdom accents. I would love to say he's Welsh, but it's not that strong. It could just be like just kind of Northern England, really. It's a it's a bit of a weird accent though. That's gonna throw people off if they played the American version of the game, because it sounds nothing like. But I I kind of like the the idea of him being just that like off-brand you know, England. Uh, all these rides have gotten an upgrade as well, except for the go-karts, which he... Which, they're working on the, the jump. You get to slap a jump somewhere in the middle of the ride. It's great. It's cool. Oh, dang. This ride's about to break down soon. Because there's eight people on it. What a shame. Uh, nothing stops you from building multiple of a ride as well. Uh, the only thing I think is, um, uh, you've obviously got the upfront costs. You've got to pay for your mechanics to make sure you're kind of on top of it all. Want a piece of advice? I get a good crowd. Yes, I know. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. You probably don't crazy need it. I'm just waiting for this up arrow to lot of happy kind of tell me that I'm doing the right thing. A golden ticket. Um, so yeah, uh, then the other specific golden tickets are ones that are specific to the park. So my ultimate goal is to kind of just get those seven golden tickets. Uh, one of which you've already seen, which is get a hundred visitors into the park. Oh wow, I got a gift shop, cool. Can I slap? I can't slap the gift shop just there. That's okay, I can just... Uh, let's put a gap there. There we go. Uh, there is also one for getting 200 visitors into the park, and then 350 visitors. I believe that is people in the park and not total, so you gotta work on that. There also exists one for getting a happiness level of 75. I think that's the amount of this bar down here needs to be 75% full, okay. Also, I guess the number of yellow people here needs to be 150. I guess if you got more people in your park, it should be okay. Um, but people are thinking they're sick. Why? I guess let's double check our people. To cancel this employee's patrol area, click the patrol area uh, button. To set a new one, just click the button again. Alright, so let's, uh, hold on, let's, let's go to my mechanics. We gotta patrol different things. It looks like you want to set this So, you get to patrol area. this stuff. And the other guy gets to patrol... It looks like you want to set this yes, I know. He only has to patrol the actual ride, so he just has to go there. That should help him out a bit. Because, yeah, they take so long if they're walking from here and there. Um, then the last one is make $15,000 in a year and research and build everything. So, there's that. Seven golden tickets plus the four uh, general ones. I've gotten one of each of the camps. Um... Uh, obviously... Don't be alarmed. 
Nothing to worry oh about. Oh my gosh, the dino the cards, no! Mechanic is How is it on fire? Who said these people are dying? They need they need evacuation. Yeah boy, the yeah. <laughs> these kids! Imagine driving your go-kart and all of them simultaneously catch fire. Like that's terrifying. We should we we gotta rename this. This isn't called Dino Carts, this is called um a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost won you a golden ticket. Put smiles on a few more faces, and it'll be yours. How do you, how do you spell it? Joe Guan Yu's loops. Some is that is that is that too tongue in cheek right now? <laughs> how do you spell Joe Guan Yu? I gotta spell it. Pyrocards. <laughs> Pyrocards is also good too. That's a pretty gnarly race today. I'll tell you that. We've discovered a new ride. Uh, is it spelled with two Y's, Zhou Guan Yu? Oh, G-U. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna tell me off for spelling this name wrong. A new feature has been I got, I got the, know, the, the given name in, different. Uh, it is... And there you go. Zhou Guan Yu's Let's loops. Very important. <laughs> take a load uh, I know he's gonna tell... Okay, so we've got a new ride as well. The Sun God. What a wonderful name for a ride. Uh, let's figure out the best way to lay it out. I think just having it over here will probably be good. I always like doing this kind of configuration, where the length of the ride isn't too long. Because, yeah, you probably don't have too many, like, people sitting in the park all around. Or at least, like, you know, these line lengths really aren't, like, competing too hard. Man, everyone's over here! Everyone's just over there! Who cares about this half of the park? I believe new rides are always interesting, though. They do like new rides. The toilets are getting dirty. The toilets are getting dirty. Oh my goodness. And have that... Do I just need more cleaners? I guess. This guy pays a lot, but he's good skill, so... Uh, where is he gone? There he is. Nope. To cancel this employee's patrol area, click the patrol have you heard button. anyone mention anything about an entertainer, one, by the way? Uh, so you get to patrol from here to, I guess, the same half. I think they do their best, but yeah, I, like, I'm still not 100% sure, um, really how to direct anything in this game. It just kind of happens. Uh, let's, so let's put another toilet over here. Donkey Kong. Yeah, let's just call him Donkey this Kong. Is falling apart. I'm surprised it hasn't broken Donkey down Kong, Click the call uh, to have it fixed. Banana Blitz. That's one over. Uh, let's let's get a mechanic to fix that up. Good news. People who've played your sideshows don't feel cheated. Well, by default, I'm I'm not cheating them. I can totally cheat them by just you can make the chance of winning zero if you're if you're really cruel. Congratulations! Oh, you've won a golden ticket. I, I got and another one. You've got another golden key. Ah, yes. So that's my third golden ticket. You know, it says two there. It's because I spent one. Um, but yeah. So now, oh, I got the high. Happiness. I guess I got the 75% one. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, that, that makes that one a little easier. I don't have to keep this happiness bar as high overall, but I do need the one for having 150 happy people somewhere in the park. Yeah, this one. But who knows, I gotta be on my way to getting 200 and 350 people eventually in the park as the park grows. Uh, what else do I have? I've got the small rock pillar. It's not that small, actually. It's a two by two. But it's perfect. It can go right here. There you go. But yeah, I, it's a bit simple of a game, but it's also... I don't know, it's got this wonderful charm to it. It's like... I remember someone, I think it was, um, like Brutal Moose, was saying that it was like, Oh, you know, sometimes the wobbly graphics just, like, look bad. I'm like, maybe. Like, for 1999, uh, this game looks pretty straightforward. It doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look terrible. It's got these nice little particle effects. Um, I remember it running pretty decently on, like, uh, some computer I had at the time, and I don't remember having a graphics card in it. It just ran pretty alright. I don't think it was running, like, like full 60 FPS. Uh, 
This game's a little sad in the sense that you can't extend it further. It, it kind of caps out at 800 by 600 for me. Maybe there is a way to keep it going further. Um, but it caps out at 800 by 600 for me. Uh, 60 FPS. It's all all it goes to. Um, sound is probably not like crazy high quality, but you know what? Like it does what it does. It looks fairly okay. I don't mind it. I also just like its character. It's just like, like oh, this cute little pink dinosaur thing. All these weird cardboard cutout kids. People want that RTX for the Unreal Engine. We can zoom in. Oh, you want to zoom into the faces? Hey, look at that. Look at all oh my goodness. What is going on here? You should be cleaning that. Get in there. Clean that up. Oh my gosh, everyone's just throwing up outside the toilet. That's no bad. Did you really clean that up? Oh my goodness. The raid is like very delayed. It's going, he's trying his best. Look at all these researchers dancing around. The nice thing about the researchers is that you know there's a point later on when you could just fire them. This ride's kind of cool. The sun god. It's a merry go round, I think. Yep. Oh, he's looking. He's, he's looking. He's not going. He's not going around. A new side show has okay. been researched. Fine. Now we can all rest a little easier. Okay, two thousand bucks. Jeez. A new set of previously unknown side shows, a virtual dark continent of side shows, is now available to be researched. I love how every time you think you've researched everything, and you can like jump to the next thing if you want to like, you know, jump on that. I definitely know I am spending more than I'm really making. Usually I'd increase the uh, ticket price a fair bit, but these people seem to be very slow in entering the park. I also love this area outside where, um, you know, they take the boat and then oh, they all just phase out of existence. And this boat decides to take a three point turn in my little dock. I have a dock right here. And they can just take the, the bus in and out. Makes you happy every time you see a, a new, like, group of people, though. It was like, you ever play, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon? And it's just, there's a gate? Or well, not even just a gate, there's, like... Golden ticket. Oh my gosh. Oh, because I hit 200? I hit 200. Proud. Oh, cool. Sick. There we go. Well, let's build, uh, the third mystery ride. Or rather, the, the other mystery ride. Uh, I'm gonna put a gap here. There you go. A new feature has been researched. Why? Even the features there have new features. There you go. This one's called Eruption. It's kind of neat. Um, yeah. You can build more of the special it's rides, but like, look at... Researching and building all of the items available could win you a golden ticket. Yes, I know. I'm... I'm oh, <laughs> we gotta put this massive rock in. It's vital. It's vital. My existence relies on this massive rock. <laughs> look at that massive rock. I don't- I really don't know if, like, adding more features legitimately makes more people visit your park, but what is going on here? He's trying his best. I don't think he's trying- he's doing his best. We gotta put more money into cleaners. Do I just buy another cleaner? Yeah, sure. Hey, right, your job is to specifically make this, like, a bit clean. Because it seems that like everyone has no idea what they're doing when they're waiting for the toilet. This guy's thirsty though. You sometimes get uh, this pain. More toilets? There are two whole toilets in this park. I don't think people need more. Is there like a ratio of like how many toilets you need? Uh, let's double check as well these patrol areas. I think, is he missing? I actually like um, this view here if you can get rid of all these. This is a nice little view because I'm pretty sure the red stuff is like the the buff zones. A new shop has been researched. Oh, an ice cream shop. said that there's nothing new under the sun. Everyone loves ice cream. Scientists. And you know who likes the ice creams? The pelicans. Let's get another pelican. A new set of shops is available to be researched. A little pelican. Uh, what's up? We used to. Well, how do you say this? We we used to catch rat. There you go. Building 90% of toilets is the only fun part of theme park. It has to be the worst kind so the visitors suffer. I... This is like 90% park and uh, like 1% toilets. Maybe I should build more toilets. 
Because they they do look like they're struggling. Every single time I look at the toilet, there's like five people stacked on top of each other. There is a big We've toilet later on. Trouble, boss. <clears throat> a ride is about to break down. Uh, which ride is about to break down? The belly bounce again. Cute little dinosaur thing. How are you breaking down? It's made out of rubber. There is no way that the dinosaur ride can break down. It's just, it's impossible. I know we saw it earlier, but... <laughs> I have to note this music. Like, I love the fact the that it just builds up. Just gradually. It, it keeps layering more, like, melodies and, and kind of just counterpoints on top of that bass stuff. Um, like, it's really, like, it's really nifty. And it doesn't feel like it's looping that hard because it's not actually looping at all never played the theme park world sequel though uh people are upset about the toilets i think it's because i need like another toilet around like this side like they're probably complaining because they like they they shoot pee at the hyenas here and then they're like oh i got nowhere to do on myself that's it they're just going here man Okay, they're winning too much. They're winning too much, guys. Chill with the winning. Chill with the winning. <laughs> People are so upset about the toilets. So. Okay, so what... what? What's the next course of action? This is the fun part. Like, once you're, once you're like 50 minutes in, and you're really trying to go like, okay, like, what's going on? This ride is steaming naturally. Although it's pretty exciting on its own, apparently. Uh... This ride is about to conquer, so let's... Oh, this ride's about to conquer too, oh no. I, I feel like it's easier to just see it from this list. But then it's just like, we're gonna figure out how to make Belly Bounce more exciting. Well, that doesn't really help, does it? I guess it can make it longer. That's the best you could do. We gotta max that excitement. April Fools. Uh... I love the use of a real time as well. I don't know, you play Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I think... Do the original ones just, like, they count up the days that don't actually, like, say a real date? Actually, I think the originals do. I think I think all of them do. I'm trying to think. There's, like, other um, games out there, and it's just like, these fake times. It's like, nah, man, it's funny to, like, have a real, real time. It's like, where, where were you when this dinosaur pterodactyl thing... They're all dinosaur pterodactyl things. I am starting to get a little worried about my, like, revenue. My staff cost is fine, but it's the fact that I'm buying a, a ride every, like, so often. I'm not really making money, I'm just kind of matching my money. Uh... You can take loans as well. This is something that you can do, but I guess the important thing to note is that uh, you you have this monthly repayment, and I can guarantee, like looking at um, like this, it's like I cannot afford an extra nine hundred of like cost. Maybe I can a little bit, but like I don't know, it's a little it's a little doozy. Um, you get these really really long term ones as well, like this fifty thousand. I think you're only allowed to take three loans total at a time but i remember as a kid i'd always just like stack all of them go hard get enough golden tickets to unlock the next park and then like completely go bankrupt <laughs> i'm stealing all the investor money i tell ya it's under other costs but that's just me buying things all the time it's not like it's really not anything else so uh, maybe i've just got to cool it with the spending listen I Oh, I love the little jet ski. I was gonna say, it's like, I use the government as my influence. Spend spending less is not an option. You can insert any government in there, man. <laughs> How to talk politics on July 4th. Easy. Oh. Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Some joker is littering around your park. He's littering. Oh, what? To clean up his mess. Can you, like, kick out a certain guy? Maybe I should get some security cameras. Spend some money, put some security cameras here and there. What's the easiest way to, like, view secure? I guess that, really. So, so perhaps I should put another security camera. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! 
Let's sit down on oh the no! What's up. going on? Oh no! Oh no! Hold on, quick, quick! Really save it. Make sure it's saved. Oh no! Is this what people were talking about when they said, "Watch out for the textures glitching out"? We're having seizures. We're having the construction worker's body over here. Oh no! The textures are leaking. NVIDIA, what are you doing? The Texture Atlas is coming at me! Oh no! <laughs> oh! I'm amazed, we got an hour in. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Hold on, let's view the map. The map will be safe. No! The map isn't safe! <laughs> oh, I hope the seizuring isn't too bad for you guys. It, It's probably not gonna look too bad in a video encoder. Unless it like hard cuts out like that. Oh no, imagine the horror of like walking along and suddenly one everything's flashing white. Oh my goodness. Perhaps perhaps let's uh let's hit a load. Let's just save that. Let's uh exit to lobby. Maybe I've just gotta like unload it and reload it back in. Click in the gate. Uh not exactly, because I don't know what's going on over there. And the, and the leaves don't look proper. This is, uh, this is tremendous. I... <laughs> the best part, I tested this out. Oh, oh. Oh, you can't tell anything that's going on anymore. You can't tell. Oh, no. You've got... The worst part is that, like, all the models look fine, but it's like the textures are going horrendously wrong but I did research a huge leafy rock this is this is uh oh boy where's the huge leafy rock go can we put the huge leafy rock down here there you go look at that huge leafy rock that what is that it's like an eagle did they know it's July oh what happened to your face maybe you should reset that is terrifying that is terrifying now I don't have a research button anymore, but I know it's there. At least this guy's face is okay. This whole menu looks fine. There's a number of, like, you can tell the same textures going on in various places. But, oh boy! This is, this is real interesting, just seeing, like, all the textures just panicking in the worst ways. The best part is if I wave the mouse more and more, do more things start breaking? This is amazing, seeing like text just up here as well. Because it's obviously leaking like parts of the VRAM on you. I think I'd probably give the game a hard like, re like refresh. It'll take like no time, but I definitely want to just <laughs> give it a refresh. So let's uh... Let's, uh, jump back. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna apologize for the eyes bleeding. Let's jump back. I'm just gonna restart the game. And we're back in. Easy. That's the easiest way to, de to deter all your viewers. I feel like, though, like, I saw another video of a guy, uh, playing this game... As, as like a review format, and he did mention the textures glitching. I hadn't experienced it personally. I hope you love the sign, by the way. Um, I hadn't experienced it personally. It looks like we're back in action, like everything's all fine. Um, he was also saying crashing, and I don't know if I'm ever gonna experience the crashing. Maybe I will. You know, famous last words. You gotta watch out, there's no auto-saving as well. Well, there is auto-saving. You gotta watch out, because I don't think the auto-saving works exactly as expected. Look out. Oh! Look out. She's gonna blow! She's gonna blow! You've got a ride that's about to oh break my goodness. Down. Jeez. Oh, but driving around in a circle is also gonna break down. You can't just focus on one and not the other. Eureka. Oh, I got the jump! So check this out. You can stick a jump right here, and then it tells everyone to bugger off, get out of the ride. But now you've got a jump. You can keep adding more jumps if you want, you don't really need more. That's state of repair. That's kind of neat. It's good fun. A little fun jump. That's cool. 
Uh, so what's he researching now? We're researching the tunnel. These take so long. Um, also, note Temple of Gloom here. This is almost done. And Temple of Gloom is the first roller coaster. Are you, are you glad that the stream is about an hour long and only now? Are we seeing the roller? Well, I guess it's not called Sim Coaster. This is theme park. Well, this is a themed park, and nothing says themed more than no roller coaster. So, but I can put one down, or I guess I can take out a loan and then put one down. Uh, how's the uh, park attendees going, by the way? Cleaners happiness or clean? Yeah. Okay. All these, all these people seem pretty, pretty fine. The skill kind of sucks, but that's okay. Your scientists have come up with a new raid. We got a lot of lot of people here. Uh, let's go to the money screen. A set of raids has I need to, to view research. my money. Yeah, I, I see my balance. But what's my money in, my money out? Well, my money out isn't good, anyways. So Temple of Gloom is a fairly expensive ride, but it is a, a roller coaster. So why don't we take out? Uh, I'm gonna suffer a 20% interest rate anyway, so let's go for the big one. There you go. And let's build Temple of Gloom. This is, this is the first first step towards a uh, downfall. There you go. Oops. Oops. There you go. So now you can build a roller coaster. And this roller coaster editor is really cool because you get to basically freely well i mean you still got to stick it to a grid but the actual like way that the roller coaster snaps is just you'll need to build pylons it does its um kind of track. Click uh, uh to i'm gonna say bezier curve kind of, of mentality where it's like the next Click space you put it influences pylons. like Another the previous section of track a little bit Clicking the other end of the ride will complete Which is kind of cool. You can the twist it around. You can get it to Let stack on top to of another one. An old bit. I got a challenge. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is an interesting thing as well. So you can get some money for... Uh, yeah, for getting uh, more drink sold. Which is a good inspiration to put more drink shops into your park as well because now you've got two of, your rides of these about to break down. oh Take my gosh cover. belly bounce you never I suppose you could fix it you're never gonna gonna get down get down you're never gonna work belly bounce some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entertainer we're talking major pockets uh, of here we go let's oh let's uh how do you back up you <clears throat> I want to. I want to back up. I want to back up just this one bit. I. I want to just back up this one bit of ride. Uh. I feel like I'm an idiot because I. I completely missed the button. Oh, it's. Why is it backspace now? <laughs> I don't know why. It was delete earlier. It's now backspace. And let's circle around. And there you go. Don't I could probably pay back my loan pretty soon, can't I? The raids. How's this going? Oh, see, plenty of time to make that money. Easy. Make that a somewhat larger problem. Don't worry, mechanics. And Dino Cards broke down. Oh. Going to be fine. oh my gosh. Okay. There you go. So that that's still there. But yeah, check it out. It's a real roller coaster. And if you want to as well, we can go into the edit mode, and then you can select individual pylons, and you can freely just drag them up. You can go over to this one, you can go, actually I want there to be, um, a bit of a, I say pivot. Which one's the, is that camber or is it just kind of weird? There you go, camber's part of it. Like, you'll, you'll kind of see that I'm doing a bit of camber. It looks kind of funky. Well, it's kind of cool, the fact that you can just wiggle everything around and make it all kind of neat. A new feature has been uh, I'm gonna lower this one Why? a bit. Even the features have new features. Bravo! You've met the challenge and the prize is yours. Let's wiggle it around and then let's make this one <laughs> pretty gnarly bend there. Look at that, that's kinda cool. The roller coaster creator in this is is fairly neat. The fact that you can make it all work out. And then even better if you want. Also, let's pay off this loan while I'm at it. Oh, can I pay it off? 
No, because I've got to pay off the interest. Ugh. <laughs> okay. But I'm making all this money back. Can't believe it. But yeah, you can go on the ride, and you can legitimately ride your fun little roller coaster you got going on. And I'm like, this is, like, fairly neat. Just the, the fact that, like, you know, you're doing your, your, um, your busier swines going all over the place. Uh, it is a little simple in the sense that they just slap on, uh, chain lifts whenever they want to. Um, you don't have to really figure out how, how to actually get your ride back to the beginning. You just gotta kinda link it back to the beginning. At the dawn of a new century, there are areas of the park Oh my gosh, he's making a comment about entertainers. Look how awkwardly long this chain lift goes for. One of your rides has broken down, but a mechanic Whoa. is on the way Oh my it. goodness. Oh. Oh, some harsh turns there. Still, a roller coaster is always good fun. Okay, so, who is complaining about what? Crazy Ape has broken to- Crazy Ape? That is not Crazy Ape, that is Donkey Kong Banana Blitz. Thank you very much. Alright, I gotta think of a name for the belly bounce. Uh... Scientists have discovered a new Prehistoric. Okay, it's not a cure for a nasty disease. Uh... Gotta think of something family friendly for the kids. The found dinosaur? Yeah, the found dinosaur. There you go. He's so happy, he's found. I. <laughs> there it is, the found dinosaur. I'm very happy. Which rides have I not named? I've not named the Sun God. And uh, Eruption, and the Temple of Gloom, and Aztec Mayhem. Oh, I I did name this There's one one. This one this one is a good park. one. You should get a cleaner on the kids. In, <laughs> Indian Jones and the Temple. <laughs> That's it. Indian Jones and the Temple. That's all it is. Uh, and I don't have one for the. Oh, I do have one for the go karts. We call it uh, Zhou Guanyu's Loops. Again, that's topical. I'm never going to name next week's stream anything like that, but... Uh, oh no, they're complaining! Oh, we need more toilets! Oh my goodness, stop throwing up! What is... What is with everyone throwing up? Just don't. I, there are never enough, like, cleaners. I swear. This is... This is what I was waiting on. Have you thought of raising okay, them? it is now not 130, it is 81. There you go. Oh gosh, my clean has gone somewhere and I haven't given him a patrol area. Uh, who did I call him? Well, he, most likely he's not the one called patrolling. Okay, how about let's let's redo these patrol areas. There are areas of the park that aren't being patrolled by an entertainer, and people there are starved for amusement. Now it's kind of hard to imagine where the patrol areas even even lie now. Uh, it looks pretty clean apart from here, really. It looks okay. Uh, but they're complaining about the lack of an entertainer, and that's because there is only one We've entertainer. Trouble, Don't do it. Don't right, break down. down. It is called Eruption. It's supposed to do that. Uh, Pterodactyl Macrophobia has got like two more seconds before it breaks down. Alright, let's put a... I love this little dinosaur guy. Alright, so let's give him an area. Let's say you entertain all the people on this side of the dinos on of the main walkway. And, uh... Oh my gosh. This, this guy can actively not hunt him down by being over on the other side. Okay, makes sense. Capiche, kaput. They are bored. How, how are my entertainers bored? Look, how can you be bored by this guy? Hold on. Look at him go! Look at him go! He's going! Oh my gosh, he's balancing something on his head. Hold on, let's look. At, let's try and follow him from this side. Look at him go! He's gone. They must be entertained. I'm entertained already. <laughs> Lots of people on this ride. People enjoy it. It's good. It's, it's new. It's good. Uh, anyway, let's double check. The rides haven't broken down in the two seconds. See, I'm probably gonna call it on this one. I have I. Should I be like? 
doing upgrades or are they just spending all the time up uh, researching the dino cart tunnel? I probably don't need the dino cart tunnel. Has been you know, I probably just need upgrades on anything else. But here you go. There's all the side shows are done, so that will at least speed up the rest. Let's sit down on this I wonder what's happening on this day. Uh, here we go, a giant puzzle. This is exactly what we need in our prehistoric theme park. Giant puzzle. You get to make this thing. It's kind of neat as well, the fact that, like, this does work. People, like, go up to it and you can legitimately watch them try and solve this puzzle. The clock in the back legitimately works as well. They're gone. Does this kid know how to solve the puzzle? I don't know how, like, a difficulty slider really makes this work other than making the clock, like, run out faster. Can he figure this out? Does he have it? I don't think he's got it. He doesn't seem to... Nah. Nah. Kid's an idiot. He doesn't... He doesn't know how to do sliding puzzles. Sad face. Doesn't know how to do it. <sighs> Look at this kid now. This kid's got it. This kid's got the right idea. Takes their time though, they're all interested in it. No, this kid also is not smart. No one knows how to do sliding puzzles. You think maybe you'd like latch onto like one thing. Let's put a steak restaurant. Right uh here. Right in the middle. A steak restaurant right there. Steak restaurant I believe is a like high value kind of stuff. Uh, and then I've got a few other features that we can throw in, uh, like this, uh, this tree. These don't really have to be in a convenient spot for anyone to access, they're just there. Oh my gosh, 250 people in the park, jeez. Uh, maybe I'll put another, um, trash? What was it? <laughs> Litter bin. British spelling. There you go. British spelling is always good fun. There you go. Now, unfortunately, uh, I am still losing my money due to the loan, but I guess I'm always going to be losing my money due to the loan, am I? Uh, my money out is still hurting, I guess. And my money in didn't go up at all between this month and the last month. I guess the question is the gate takings. No, oh, the gate takings. Seems alright. Who knows? Who knows how to interest more people in the park? What would you do? What would, what, what would you guys do? Oh, wait, why are you wait? Oh, wait, no, because he's just waiting for more. No? Yeah, hold on, wait a minute, why is... Eureka. This probably needs a repair anyways. A right. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Oh, there you go. That's good Let's chuck some upgrades on thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, the jump is part of the ride. Okay. There you go. Gosh, there's a lot of, like, weird things to talk about. There's a lot of, like, the mystery zone over here as well, by the way. One day I'll figure out how to actually, like, go over here. Because I can't recall off the top of my head. You just gotta, like, push that back, though. I've already pushed everything over to the left here, so... Uh, mechanics are... Definitely not mechanicking over there, so how about let's, uh, mechan Oh my gosh, people are unhappy. Are they leaving or are they coming in? Are they finding $81 too much? Visitors are grumbling about your high ticket price. What? You might consider lowering the cost. Okay, 72. 72. Are you happy? 70. Are you happy? 69. Take it or leave it. Don't do this to me. You were saying it was high a moment ago. 60? 60? One person figured it out. 57? I think I've got to concede on 57. 58. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Okay, 58 is the happy amount. The Look mute. Out. Oh, oh my Look goodness. Out. She's gonna blow. You've got a ride that's about Oh, to belly bounce. Okay, this is way more involved than the PS1 version. Don't play the PS1 version, that's all I can say. You've built all of the available features. Maybe you should research some more. Re yeah, I'm, I'm researching them. They're coming. Oh my goodness. 
how does one keep up with this? How does one legitimately run a theme park? And it's like, it's been an hour and already everything has gone wrong. Your prices are too high. You've run out of money. You've taken a loan from, from a GIO. Uh, you've got to... Do you take loans from GIO? Little horror has put a stink bomb in your park. Oh you no! Clean, clean that up, oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Nothing goes right in this game. Everything is just disaster. A new shop has been researched. The lack of money is my biggest, like, worry. But I can put in the costume shop, and maybe this will excite some, some fellows to come back into the fray. Look at this. This is culturally sensitive. <laughs> we got a real... A real Aztec but Wait, hold on. We got Aztec stuff, we got Mayan stuff, and we've got dinosaurs and King Kong. We, we've we got like this general mix of prehistoric, but like Aztec is not prehistoric because it's certainly history. Also, it's not one place, but sure. Uh, what are we going to call Sun God? I guess you can name these you other ones, but I don't think there's... I don't think there's a sign on the sideshow, so you don't, there's no point in changing the names if you can't see it, you know? You just, you just go in with it. Okay, so, is there anything else that I missed, or, well, rather that I haven't made? I think that was a new ride, wasn't it? Mumbo! What a brand new ride. Uh, let's, uh, let's give that its own kind of, like, just brief area, and then, uh, let's put that over there, let's... Make the line that short. Connect it up like that. And up. And... There you go. Look at this cute little thing. It's called Mumbo. When there aren't enough mechanics to service all of the rides, maybe you should think about hiring some more. I'm sorry, Matt. I've been missing your, uh, your messages. But yeah, it, it is general... General, um... There are parts of the uh, park that don't have a cleaner patrolling them. Oh my gosh. Clean. This is general jungle kind of stuff. Come on, click the a guy. A new feature has been researched. This well, guy has to be in charge of some god down to crazy ape. Here we go. Um, and then someone now has to be in charge of some gods breaking down. Someone has to be in charge of. Uh, see, like, yeah, I wish you could see this guy's patrol area. You can't. You can take a huge guess. So if I, like, see that, and then I go, okay, well, he really should be, like, doing this instead. Like, I can see that and go, ah, oh, that's, you know, that makes sense. Uh, the entertainers are currently both held up over there. Uh, I probably just need a security camera up the top, I think. Kind of wait and see what's going on there. And then the cleaners is like, oh, boy. These guys can't catch a break, they're just constantly getting hammered. Also, while we're at it, let's view the uh, the fun in the park. So there's all the guests. Apparently everyone is pretty evenly satisfied and the happiness of the guests is all over and apparently this is not exciting. This is the, that is not supposed to be exciting. That is a steak restaurant. How exciting is a steak restaurant? I'm pretty excited seeing a steak restaurant look like this. Like, that's kind of cool, but like... <laughs> you know, there's it's, it's a, it's a giant, like, drop around it. I don't know, man. Uh, how's the loan going? Well, half a year down. I'm also still losing money, so... It's not going the greatest. But that's okay, I've got this really massive fountain that I can chuck somewhere. How about let's chuck it right in the middle here. You gotta watch out that you don't like accidentally clip your track, because otherwise it colors it red, and it just doesn't want to render it. Look at this wonderful dinosaur fountain, dinosaur, mammoth fountain, or I guess mammoths are dinosaurs, technically. Oh yeah, you're also seeing people in the costumes. These little kids are in like little cheetah costumes that they get from the costume shop. And they're holding balloons. Well, that's kind of cool. They're happy, they're not happy, but he's, he's peeing on the hyenas. So... I still love this scene. I just love, like, this whole kind of aesthetic. 
Nice, warm, and warm, uh, and rumbly. What is going on here? Like, what are you waiting for? There's one guy just chilling here. He's never getting off the ride, apparently. Do I just, like, kick him off? Some little terrorist has I'll just set go, up a I know, I'm gonna make all... <laughs> that was in reaction to what I just did as well. That's the worst part. I feel like my ride legitimately like broke itself. That kind of guy was just waiting there. Any cleaners patrolling some areas of your park? What areas? That this is definitely in cleaner patrol zone. You see, it's right in the zone. Can you go like old school? You can go old school as well if you really want to. You can do that. You can go old school and <laughs> making someone be somewhere by just picking them up. We've discovered a new right. Oh wait. Oh wait, hang on. We've researched, We've researched the new, new ride. ride. Upgrade. Ah, ah, that's good. That's good too. too. Alright. Here comes the sun god. The sun oh, sun god, sun king. I'm definitely making some money back, because I'm sitting pretty at like 20k. Uh what's the what's the number of people in the park? We're at 300. Oh my gosh, I'm at 300 already. I'm not too sure how to get to 75% happy people in the park though. That's kinda tricky. But, I think I might be able to hit 350 in the park. Pretty okay. Yeah, that's the average happiness. I guess that's the value I was going for. Oh, I guess I only need 150 happy people, which that... Looks like it's there, is it not? Maybe it's, uh, keep it comfy. And then, uh, yeah. The one that says make 15,000 in a year, is that, like... Uh, net total, or like, subtract my, uh, my deficits, or is that like, uh... Hold on, here we go. A new feature has Look at that, there was set. one month where you the red was over. In, Actually, there was I'll this month as well. I don't know what was... Oh wait, that was the challenge month. Let's that was the challenge month, yeah. Take a load of. Here we go, so... Wild beasts. Oh, it's a speaker, it makes noises at people. Let's put the wild beast next to the wild beast. So if you're standing next to it, I'm I'm just hearing cash registers. <laughs> you, you see what I mean? That's just the sound. Does it really do anything? Who knows? Uh, you may also be wondering. Let's uh, just quickly save the game while I'm in the middle of it working. Um, you may be wondering as well. You've got a little postcard feature, so you take a picture. You can send an email postcard. And it uh yeah, you send it through email, and you can write a little message, and it says. Well, 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 it doesn't really say it there. To type a title there you go. Message, and to enter the addresses you want to send it to. That's kind of cool. The top two That's a fun little feature. Right. <clears throat> um, Have you seen how many costumes people are buying? They're having a great time. Are they? Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's a bunch of people. Look at that! Customers 17 out sure of 18 customers. A You're a marketing. Did someone genius. just like walk in and go, Nah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> just walks out. Oh my goodness. Some parts of the park don't have a cleaner patrolling them. Okay, they okay, they're them really- he's really complaining about the cleaners. Uh, let's figure out- let's figure out who is- who is the one that- oh my gosh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh, I got a fair bit of overlap, so I'm gonna like look at this guy, and I'm gonna tell him no. One of your rides is about to break You're now in charge of that part, and now I'm gonna hope that I didn't just remove an overlap. That seems pretty alright, and then people are complaining about this bit. So let's make his area a little wider instead, and hope that I didn't... <laughs> here we go. Easy. Uh, which ride's about to break down? Oh, whoops. Um, yes, uh, whoops, don't break down. Uh, also, we're good. Okay. Hold on, you ready? Boom. Boom, I'm a creative genius. I dare not put emojis in the names. I do not trust this game to render emojis in the names properly. Why they they phase out of existence? <laughs> you, you dare come into the presence of Mumbo be vaporized. Hot cakes. Well, not in stacks, more like grapes, you know, bunches. Anyway, it means the visitors are having fun. They are having fun, apparently. So where's my golden ticket? Where, where is any of my golden tickets, really? But in particular, where's my golden ticket for getting 150 people happy in the park? Because I'm very certain, like, that is 150 people happy. Also, where where are my 
park people going? I think it's probably because I don't have a new ride queued up just yet. Oh, but I could build one. Let's build it. The Tom Tom You're doing Twister. A great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. There you go. Uh, you gotta now exit this away. Uh, which I can also connect up this way. Having some paths is always nice. Tom Tom Twister. This will, you know, you can get some GPS some tracking. Around your park. See if you can get a cleaner over there to clean up his mess. I don't, I don't even see it. I think my cleaner's a two on top of it. Uh... I think I'm just going to tell this guy to, like, have a slightly wider area. That's really the best way I can think of it. Might be missing parts. Well, the workers all seem very happy. Keep it up and you'll avoid strikes. Hold on. Give it give him a second go. There we go. Stretch it. There you go, all good. That texture doesn't look very very nice. I wonder if that's the texture or whether it's There's about a to scallywag going round popping kids balloons. You should get a guard to put a stop to it. Ah, oh, maybe I need another guard then. Mark Inman? He is Inman the Zone Man. We've got nope, trouble, I'm putting boys. a I'm putting a camera in. Don't don't ruin this for me. Mumbo, Mumbo number five. Some of the visitors are getting a little wild and your security hasn't noticed. Make sure Okay, back back to the security. Uh bottom right and somewhere near that bit. <laughs> that bit make <laughs> It makes sense to me. I put a camera right, right about here, and make sure it's facing the right way. You've got some visitors performing pranks in your park, and frankly, they're a bad influence. You should put a stop to it before this kind of behavior. Okay, look, there's cameras everywhere now. There's nowhere to, for them to hide. They, they will be found. They will be arrested before a high court. <laughs> they arrest. You're tried before a high court. A new feature has been researched. Speaker Screechers! Ooh. Even the features have Where does the Screechers go? Who puts Screechers? The Sun God Screechers. So, so that, yep, so all the shops are done, all the sideshows are done, we now get into the point where it's just researching rides and stuff. Which is kind of interesting that, like, the pacing works out kind of about two hours. I don't know, it's just a fun, fun, solid length. Uh, let's check that none of my rides are about to completely combust. What is the average time in the park doing? Okay, cool. Uh, yep, Donkey Kong Banana Blitz is about to destroy itself. That's cool. Um, found dinosaur seems okay. Uh, let's, let's just be boring. Tom, Tom Navigation. There you go. It's not funny at all, but... Uh, let's see, is there garbage anywhere all over the park? All the time. People are throwing up all over the place. Right here. They hate it. Maybe I should put a bin here so they can throw up in the bin. There you go. Or at least look at the pelican and go, yeah, nah. Man, they are consistently being sick. Also, I guess, isn't it kind of weird? Everyone's a, a little kid in this park. I don't know. I'm thinking about it too much frowny face because no one is smart enough to handle this no one is <laughs> legitimately no one is smart enough to do the sliding puzzle look out look out she's gonna blow uh oh and belly yeah, bounce is going oh my goodness jeez okay okay don't panic don't panic everything's fine i swear everything's fine um i'm still losing money i would really kill for another challenge thanks game appreciate it uh, although at least the loan is, like, it's going. Like, yeah, I am kind of sweating a little bit. But I'm also like, eh, I mean, I could probably cool back and probably make another, like, 10 grand and then get the loan out. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. 10 grand? What would I do with 10 grand? What would any of us do with 10 grand? Ten grand is a lot of money. 
This is 1999 10 grand as well. You can make a theme park out of $50,000. Now it's like, yeah, houses cost like 20 times that nowadays. <laughs> Granted though, no one is living anywhere here. Maybe in this little like shack, but yeah, listen. I don't think the shack, well, it does, it, it's next to a drink shop. You know, there's inherent value. There's a public outhouse like just down the road and you get this log, you know, you've got greenery. You know, you've got, you've got your own front yard. <laughs> you know, great access to services. Um, <laughs> they'll say great access to public transport and then it's like ages away. Has been <laughs> it's you like, know, yeah, it's a, a 20 minute walk. In, I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose or let's sit down. I'm throwing so much shade. I'm throwing up. so much shade. Haven't you ever had that? You haven't you ever had like a, a person? Miscellaneous items has become available to oh my gosh, there's more of these. Have your scientists investigate. Five thousand bucks for an upgrade. What? Jeez. And then this ride's ten grand. How are you supposed to afford anything in this game? You got to build all the things as well for a golden ticket. So, I guess you go blazes, you know, blazing glory. Rika, we've discovered a new right. Oh, well, wait, let's let's go for it. You go blazing glory. You just like build all your upgrades, build all your rides, take out all your loans, and then run it away. Because you technically don't need to sustain your park infinitely. Technically, you only have to get your golden tickets. So maybe that's kind of a neat thing. You get to hail Mary your park. I'm really curious how you expand the park. I think this space is like it's just enough. Like if I extend over here I'll probably be okay maybe I'll make the go-kart a little shorter I could make the roller coaster longer by the way because there is a achievement for getting the roller coaster getting sorry, a golden ticket for making a ride the... has broken down and the mechanics are all busy maybe you should hire some more oh my goodness really okay Sean Don you're in the game don't be alarmed nothing to worry about uh, oh my gosh, where's the mechanic area? Oh my gosh, he's got so many rides he's looking after. Okay, hold on, so... Wait, which one is he? I guess he's the one in the staff room. He's having a snooze, having a snana nap. Don't panic, there is a little problem with one of the rides. Oh my gosh, everything stopped working. Make that a somewhat larger problem. Don't worry, mechanics are on the way. Everything's going to be fine. Everything is breaking on me. Nothing is working. Everything is going wrong. <laughs> One of your rides has broken Stop. down. Stop! The mechanic is on the way to fix it. Everything is breaking on me. Oh my gosh, and this ride is about to die. And this ride's about to die. Features. Like, I look at this and I go, this is a train wreck. It's about to... Everything is about to... Crash simultaneously. Oh, and your and you pooped oh, outside Indian Jones and the temple. Everyone's pooping outside everywhere. Jeez. Okay. All right. Let's get let's get a cleaner. I've got a new challenge for you. But he does have a challenge. For details. How much money? How much money? Three thousand bucks if fifteen percent of the people have a balloon. Let's do it. Is it worth just building another balloon shop to do it? Because the balloon shop's already 1500 It is 60 days. But the balloon shop is also all the way down here. I'll watch it go, and then if it's like 20 days, think your food is great, and it's not there, nice one. sure, okay. Again, where's the happy? Where's the start? The uh, guess happy. That is more than 150 people happy. Come on, game. You gotta give me the goods. Looks like I might be getting enough people though after a bit. I think I just need like one or two more rides. Just to really top it off. I love this like reliability bar. It's <laughs> just nothing is reliable. Also, what was that about safe capacity? I'm not paying attention to it. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. No one's doing balloons. Well, you can go you can go really silly and uh, drop the price of everything. Actually, just they don't need good balloons, they just need balloons. So just make the balloons cheap. Fine, we'll put in another balloon shop. Because he asks. 
Uh, or has a great place to slot it in. There you go, slide in there. Uh, there's the other little shop, there you go. Sticking that button makes all the shops the same price. So it's not making money, but uh, it'll get people holding balloons. There you go. There you go. That's looking good. That's looking good. People are people are interested. People are going. I'm gonna look like an idiot if I'm not making any money off my balloons. But I don't care. I just need 15% of the people in the park to be holding a balloon. Eureka! We've discovered a new And I'm not building Chack Attack. I swear. That's the log flume. That's right type number three, by the way. So. It's the dawn of a new Oh my goodness. And you said number number five is not fair. 250 bucks? Easy. Let's disregard that my... <laughs> I've still got two years left of a loan. Oh no. Listen, it's the other cost there, you can see. Except the other cost is also including, like... Uh... Like, hold on, if I, if I go to, like... Oh, like gate takings, shop takings, sideshow takings. And staff costs. Yeah, it's all just me buying, like buying rides and stuff. But I don't want to be boring. I don't want to, like, not do it. But I also don't want to pay loans all the time. <laughs> They're at least generous enough. They've given me the opportunity to go for, like, the massive loans again. And, uh... But, yeah, you can see the, the number of 20... Well, I guess this is a 20% loan. So... Like, you've just got exactly There's double the amount of monthly repayment. You should get well, it's not too bad. And clean up it's just, yeah, like, are you willing to spend that much? Going back. And again, what's going on? Uh, we're at 6%. 6%? How do you encourage even more people to hold balloons? 5%? This is impossible. There is no way that you can encourage more people to have balloons unless you start giving them out for free. <laughs> Listen. He's going for two. He's going for two. I don't think you can you can encourage people to have 15% balloons. That is a lot of balloons. There are 338 people in the park. And you want 15%? What is that? Like 50? You want 50 people in the park to be holding a balloon? Like everyone drops the balloon after two seconds. And everyone keeps throwing up outside this balloon shop anyways. I keep thinking it's stinky, but maybe I should have a janitor exclusively for just this. Maybe that's what people meant by the toilet hub. They just like spam toilets and then have one dedicated cleaner do the poor job of checking every single one of them. Yeah, like I've had 30 customers, five customers at this other one. I guess you can move it. Look at that. New 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 shop, everyone. New shop. I got one person interested. The Tom Tom Twister got an upgrade. How much? 400? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, that reminds me. Let's look at the rides and make sure all of them are breaking down again. You're running out of time to complete your challenge. I yeah, I I've noticed. I've noticed not oh my gosh, people actually go to it if you just pick it up and drop it. Really? Really? People just buy your balloons if you just pick it up and drop it? Okay, guys. Guys, spam the balloons. We need the balloons. We need the balloons. 7%. 7%. 7%. 8%. 8%. 8 okay, they're going nuts. They're going nuts. Look at that. I, I, it's a steal. They're $10 balloons. That's the cheapest balloons out there. The 9, 10%? 10%. 10%. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 11%. 11%. Come on. Come on. 12%. 12%. Come on, everyone. Oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. Oh. New interesting shop. New interesting shop, everyone. 12%. 12%. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep going. 13. 13. 13. 12. No. No, 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 no. 11. No, don't go down. Don't do it. Don't do this to me. No. Don't do this to me. Don't. No. 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 Ah. Oh. No, I spent. I hate to be the bearer of bad Okay, no, nope, you're all losing money now. Complete your challenge. Cost forty-five bucks now. Better luck next time. Is he crying on me? <sighs> Can't believe it. 
Can't believe it, you folks didn't buy enough balloons. But it's like, how do you deal with that? And then $3,000? That's twice the price of a balloon shop. I'm not spending more money to get more balloon shops. Just to not be able to... To put them there. Oh my gosh, people are stanky. People are so stanky. They're queuing up, they're ready to go, they're reeling to go. I hide my embarrassment, hide my shame. One of your rides is about to break down. Belly bounce again? The remaining life is surprisingly like pretty high on it, isn't it? Like none of these rides are really gonna break that soon. Like forever. I guess though I'm in the stage of I kinda need a bit more money <laughs> before I start considering rebuying the stuff. Still, 24 months of, of uh stuff. Listen, I'm amazed, uh for me to buy balloons in this economy. <laughs> Listen, like, it's- the park is $58. I need to somehow make money. I really do. Because on- I keep referring back to the PS1 version, but in that version, it's like, I would just charge my guests 228 bucks to enter the park, and that would just set me for life. I'd just, like, not have to do anything. People just accept that it costs $228 to get into Disneyland. But here, it's like, look at all these wonderful rides, and you're like, nah, Your 60 bucks is too much. Mayan Spinner is surprisingly cheap. That is 750 bucks for a ride. So, let's throw it in there. Uh, I am gonna want a path that goes around, so how about... Let's construct it like that, so I can have a path going around that way. 750 bucks, these are cheap rides. The, uh, Chack Attack is not a cheap ride, but... Yeah, you know, I, I think just all the track ones. Tom Tom Twister is surprisingly not cheap as well. What is a mind spinner? It's not exciting apparently though. That's okay though. You just gotta increase the capacity to a completely unsafe number and then you make it go very fast. Hold on, give me the 69 speed and then you give him four cycles. You give him the goods. It'll break sooner, but who cares? It's more fun. How, you, how are you telling me you can't fit more than six people on this normally? That's a- that's a pretty regular looking ride, as well. <laughs> no one can drive! Look at his jump! He's done the permanent brake check. He's going backwards! Oh, he's just cheating! He's just cheating! He didn't even do the loop! What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh... That's horrendous. That is horrendous. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. So I hope you all can kind of, like, I don't know, I'm going on a huge nostalgia trip right now. But I hope you all can- done I've done it! What? Ah, oh, the 350 visitors in the last six months. Wow. Oh, last six months? That's just 350 visitors. Unless that was over six months, in which case, oh, okay, sure. They're We're really happy, trouble, look at that. <clears throat> a ride is about to break down. I get it, I get it. Dino Karts is about to break, it always is about to break down. When is it never about to break down? Uh, I think everything else looks okay, sure. Press how all these rides are actually programmed to do this dumb stuff instead of increasing the amount of animated children. Yeah, exactly, like, there's, there is a lot of love, I feel, in just the way that everything looks. Even if it is, like, kind of horrendously pro polygonal, uh, some of the texture filtering either, like, exists on the right, or doesn't exist. Yeah, it's a little inconsistent at times. But, like, just the fact that, like, there's all this, like, you know, stuff going on. Like, someone made this riot and it's just this weird tentacle monster carrying these people, dragging them about, like... Basically removing their spines from their bodies. Yeah, like, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that all of these do different things. And then you can have, like, silly stuff like this. Like, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna ride this one. I'm on the pterodactyl. I'm going around on the pterodactyl. It just flies around. And it's, it's there, like, if I... Oh, wait, that... Like, it shows up. 
It's, it is legitimately flying around. And you can tell it to take longer if you really want to. Like, it's, it's really neat how all of this stuff, like... You know, it, it's pretty clear, it's pretty, like, simple. But there's a lot of, like, just fun little ways that it presents itself. The presentation's a little dated, but it's not, like... It's not an ugly dated. It's just, like, things are just larger than they usually are. And it's also kind of weird to have a guy keep coming up on screen, like, legitimately any other game could just show the message. <laughs> Doesn't need to have a guy tell you. Some joker is littering around your park. See if you oh, can get a thousand bucks. It is level mess. three, though. People will ride the Sun King. There you go. Oh, I'm slightly running out of money, but I think did more people show up? No, no, fewer people showing up. A huge busload of visitors oh. pulled up. Either that, or a busload of huge visitors has arrived. Either way, the park is getting popular. Wow! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> wow! You think I could charge, like, two more dollars for the park? Hold on, maybe, maybe, hold on, you ready? Can I get away with 69? You gotta watch out if too many people are, like, being held up. There's a, there's a number of people going through on $69. There's a number of people going... Oh, no, I think I'm getting too picky. I'm getting too picky. We'll go to 64. We'll go to 64. We'll leave it at 64. Because you don't, you don't want to, like, absolutely, like, gouge them going in. Still, though. Still, though. I need the, I need the money. I need, like, the number of people in the park. And Donkey Kong Banana Blitz is about to die. Some little terrorist has set off a stink bomb oh. in the park. You better get it cleaned up before people get sick. And you Where, really Where's the stink clean. bomb? I don't see it. This guy's on top of it. Andrew Carr right here. He's, he's on top of it. He knows his stuff. Uh, oh boy. So, what's the... What's the next state of affair here we've got going on? Trying to figure out. Uh, people, uh, usually disgusted. I don't- what is that pink one? Did you see that? Oh, let's, let's see if we can find it again. A lot of people just upset. Or dead. Oh, there it was. Nope. Nope. Maybe I'm just going blind. I totally want that moist $69, I'll tell you that. Uh... Yeah, this ride's about to die. Again. They all, they all are about to die. It's, it's really weird that you've just got to actively, like, say, Nah, this ride's about to break There's down. A litter bug running in the There's so much bizarre, like, micromanagement that you've got to do, as well. Like, I, I'm not even... I'm really surprised, because there's a lot of, like... I'll play Roller Coaster Tycoon, and legit, it's like, you set up Roller Coaster Tycoon such that you can put it down. A new feature this is, like, shared. this is... You know, there is no put down yet. This just, just keeps, like, piling on. It was put down at the very beginning. Let's sit down on this now the only thing I'm putting down is this up. giant rock, which I can't find a place for. There you go, big rock. Hey! Hey! Did you see what that guy just... Oh my gosh, what... What's the security cam... There's security cameras all over the place, you're just blind. I think he's probably commenting on the top right. <sighs> Listen, I want to pay back my loan. But no, no, he, he's just decided to be, you know, like, I, I, <laughs> I want money. Ah, he's not giving me the money. I just keep thinking someone legitimately like crashed in there and he hasn't gotten out. Look at this cheater in the green car. Or, I mean, he could be cheating as well, but. Also, yes, you can pretend to ride this. I am now the cheater in the green car, I guess. You don't control it, though. You control it in the PS1 version, but it, does, it doesn't control well at all. But it does legitimately go. <laughs> Some Somehow. It, it goes. It definitely... Oh. He's gone. This is the safest ride in every, like, 
theme park. I've never been to a theme park that's had go-karts. I've seen them with, like, bumper cars. Uh, but go-karts is a new one to me. Especially with a, with a, you know, a cross intersection like that. That just feels so gnarly. Some little horror has put a stink bomb in your park. Oh my goodness, oh, there is like, up there oh, this sick. this whole park is is just like cleaner, like nightmare. All these kids are just the most disgusting things all over. And eruptions about to bre like break. Oh my gosh! At least the cleaners are on top of it. But oh my goodness. There's no peace. There is no peace for any of these people. There is no peace for any of them. Okay, so... $18,000 left of the loan, 20 months. I guess it was 36 months earlier, so I'm nearly halfway down. I could take out another loan, but I'm... I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm about to get upgrades, another one for Temple of Gloom. Uh, these are, oh, I guess I could, why is this not making money? Yeah, this, why is this actually not making money? Did just, oh, lots of people won all of a sudden. <laughs> Everyone's figured out how to do the puzzle. No, don't do this to me. Um, let's see, shops as well. Uh, like we can start going profit. Eureka! We've discovered a new right. Oh, wait. Listen, like, people are satisfied with the gift shop, so that's one where it's like, I look at it and I go, you could probably up the... Well, happiness is completely dipped. Oh, I was thinking, it's like, oh, could I just, like, sell it for a little more? Um, who knows? Uh, there's nothing really to gain from looking at that, but there is something to look from this. Uh, okay, what did I get? Upgrade for Temple of Gloom. Let's, let's chuck that upgrade on. Why not? Make the ride a little more exciting. I would love to ride like Splash Mountain, to clean up his like Upgrade 3, you know? That sounds so exciting. Oh, are people coming into the park? Where is this money coming from? Are people just... I don't know what people are buying. I don't know where any of the money comes from. It just does. Okay, how's the park satisfaction? Again, that totally looks like there's more than 150 happy people. I don't know. Maybe that challenge doesn't exist. Who knows? Make 15,000 in one year. That's... That's like nigh Eureka. impossible. We've discovered a new ride. Oh, just actually a new ride. Okay. Although if you see the money in, it's been higher than the money out, so I'm, I'm getting there. A new set of rides has become available to research. You know, un you until I buy Jack Attack. Them. And then suddenly <laughs> it means nothing now. Oh yeah, I've got Swiss Splash. So Swiss Splash is um it's like the go-karts, but it's a water track. Um again, it's like, ugh, we got two crazy expensive rides. But do I build a log flume? Do I legitimately put in the money to build the log flume? Will that attract enough more people into the park? A lot more people, though. There are a lot more people. I am genuinely impressed, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, no. People are definitely coming in. That's cool. Ah. Uh, so I guess um the ultimate goal... Uh, <laughs> I... I pitched like just kind of doing a stream of this because I thought, hey, this is this is a kind of interesting game. And if you've never played it, um, it's completely abandonware to the well. <laughs> that sounds like go and pirate it, but uh, new feature not encouraging piracy. Why? But Even the there is legitimately no way to find this game otherwise, unless you find retail copies. There's no like Look out. secure arm or anything. Out, Actually, there is secure arm. <laughs> But, uh, oh my gosh, it's the same ride. It's Zhou Guan Yu's loops yet again, every time. Your oh my goodness. Have a new set of features available to them. I'm amazed how many more features keep, like, unlocking as well. There's just, there's so many of them. I love these, like, estimated prices as well, because they're not estimates. That's just legitimately the price of the upgrade to Mumbo, which will be unlocked in two seconds. Ready? There it is. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, no, this game is fairly abandonware, uh, so don't feel bad if you find certain means on the internet, including certain websites that have abandonware in their name, to find and download this game. It's, uh, it's a little bit tricky to get running on Windows 10, um, just because it requires you to install the game uh, and then um, apply a fan patch that fixes the registry values before the game writes them, otherwise the patch doesn't quite work. Um, but he's got some tools to kind of make sure that you can clean that up and get it working, so that's cool. Um, and then it seems to be running, although I did get that texture I issue. How many costumes people are buying? They're having a great time. Five. Five costumes. Five costumes. Um, but it's an interesting era because I know so many people played Roller Coaster Tycoon. So many people like know of how great that game is. And it's kind of like, this is just shy of that. It's not too old. It looks newer in its presentation a little bit. Like this, to me, kind of looks like it's, um, you know, like a mid PS2 game. But it came out in 1999. It's, it's it predates it a little bit. It does predate it. Um, although there does exist a PS2 version of the game, and I don't know how good that one is. Um, but there's a there's a lot to enjoy about this game, um, and I'm amazed actually that it is a little tricky to keep your money in the green. Although I'm getting a lot of money now because more people are coming to the park. It seems to just be a natural natural state of flux. People come to the park money comes in I would really love to not have a loan just so I can easily go hey no loan I guess I could almost pay off the remaining amount and then feel a little There's safer a litter bug running a mock in the park you should get a cleaner on the case and clean up the mess uh, I guess I should be buying a, uh, a bin shouldn't I where is it if, there, if there's a, uh, someone littering, is that, like, a sign that I don't have enough bins, or a sign that this guy is an absolute menace to society? You know, what's the, what was the, the, the advertising thing in Australia that say, don't be a tosser? And then they're like, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't litter or else we'll find your money. I think I've heard of one Some story of, of a person. Wild and your security hasn't noticed. Make sure your guards are patrol- Okay, okay, I don't know what this guy wants. There's the security all over the place. Uh, I got guards patrolling way too much. Uh, cool. Cool. Okay, this- this deserves another- Another, um, th uh, guy. I wonder if the skill is going okay. Like, I'm putting in a bit of money towards that. Maybe that's a corner cut. Corner cost cut that I can do. Let's uh, put this guy down and give him the specific patrol area of you know, a here. I'll just run to the feature and then the guy who is call. patrolling over Let's here. Sit down on this feature and take a load of. Is it David Byrne who's who's working over here? I think. I think he's got such a yeah he is totally is oh no get David Byrne David Byrne you get to specifically do this bit you don't have to worry too much. But there you go. David Byrne gets a little bit of time off. Good on you, David Byrne. Appreciate it. He can, uh... You know... <laughs> doesn't have to express his fear of music. Clean that up. Clean up that boy. Uh, okay. What's my cost now? What's my finances? I guess it's not the end of the month yet. I guess that's one thing, is that you gotta react every month and not just like... Like, uh, I'm not too sure if the original Transport Tycoon has it, but at least open TDD. You know how you get, like, your, your finances view? And it's like, it's such a detailed breakdown, and it updates in real time, so it's very easy to see, like, where all your money's going. Whereas this is like, I have to wait until the end of the month. Although this is the, uh, the end of the three years, which is... Kind of surprising. Visitors are really happy and they're buying tons of balloons. Oh, but they're buying lots of balloons. Well, Too bad they didn't balloons. buy all the balloons when it much, when I needed it. A lot. A whole <sighs> lot. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. You've got some visitors performing pranks in your park, and frankly, they're a bad influence. You should put a stop to it before this kind of behavior spreads. What? What? I guess one thing is that like, you get like uh. 
What's it? Stockholm Syndrome? That's probably not it. But like, have you ever like been around like people and they'll do like something bad and then it's like, oh, it seems wrong. And then you see like someone else doing it and suddenly like it doesn't feel wrong anymore. So that's Stockholm Syndrome. Some little terrorist has set off a stink bomb in your park. Oh my gosh, the darn terrorists. I got- I hate the terrorists ruining my park. You know? Customers at your shops feel like they've had a good deal. But they're getting a, do a good deal out of it, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, no, this game's pretty cool. Um, I'm curious, if I, if I do another stream of it, I'll probably just do a stream of the next park. I've got two keys. I've got to burn one of the keys, I think. I'm not too sure if you burn a key or whether you just have... Um, like, you know, you just need three keys to enter the next park and then five keys to enter the last park. Um, I'm not too sure if it works like that. It probably makes sense if it's, like, not burning your keys. I gotta double check. Um, I guess given that I had the one key all, always in the corner, it probably makes sense, so... Um, so I could probably just do, like, a different, um... A different, uh, park each stream if I, uh, if I continue doing this. I'm not too sure, but it seems like people are enjoying it, so that's all good. Um... And yeah, I, I definitely encourage, like, you know, hunting down a copy of this game somehow and giving it a run. Uh, and if it runs for you, then sick. Because, yeah, it it uh, it seems like it's not the easiest. Apart from that one weird texture issue, which has not reoccurred, thankfully. Um, seems to be running fine and exactly as I remember. Even down to... Well, and also force it to 60 FPS. Make sure you do that. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's a... Really neat game, and uh, I feel like there's a degree of oh my gosh, yes, Did you see yes, I know, I know. Um, I, I, I get it. Make sure I gotta make him cough all the time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a degree of um, like yeah, the, some of these games just being lost to time, but they're good games, and they're games that uh, are fairly neat and unique. Like this game, uh, I guess everyone still down. credits Rollercoaster Tycoon, but well, Rollercoaster Tycoon works as a um, well, it, it does work as a much more deeper sim game. But if you want something a bit simpler, this game is certainly like a treat. It's certainly a fun treat. It looks neat and runs fine, so that's all good. Your scientists have come up with a new raid. The hot pot, ooh. I could actually afford it. Let's let's do it. Cause you know, there's no rush in getting the the loan paid off just yet. Oh, it's so big. It's a, it's little bumper cars on a, on a giant pot. Listen, it's a new ride. People have to check it out. It's so far down the park though. Maybe that's why no one's visiting it. Uh, and yes, I do have those two rides. And yes, I haven't built. The lava fountain. I shall do it right now. There you go. Wonderful lava fountain. Uh, I, oh, the month ended. <laughs> I'm making a bit of money. What was? It, how long did I have to make fifteen thousand dollars? One year. One year. Wait. I feel like I make fifteen thousand dollars every year. It seems like I'm making fifteen thousand dollars specifically in that month. Maybe you gotta do it every month for a whole year? That seems like a lot, but who knows. Uh, I don't know, like that looks prof uh, profiting? Promising. It is profiting as well, technically. Uh, how else is the other rides? Driving around in a circle is about to break down, as it always is. Same as it ever was. So how about we'll continue the stream until the end of June in this game. That's, uh, three and a half years of this park. Uh, and I guess also, yeah, like, is there any other challenges that I could get? I've got lots of park visitors, people are happy. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is researching everything in the park. Um, I also don't know if these are the real golden tickets. They're on the... Bullfrog Productions fandom has wiki. Oh wow. my gosh, all these Even all these rides are about to break down in one fell swoop. Ah. Large sign. Oh boy. Oh boy, you know exactly what I'm gonna do with a large sign. 
You can view the details of miscellaneous <laughs> items on this screen. Use the buttons at the bottom. Oh, to I can't do to it. it. Click in its name to rename it, or click the button on the. There right you go. YouTube.com's bike. We've got trouble, boy. Maybe. <coughs> oh. A ride is about Hold to break down. Why's my arrow keys not working? Oh, because my hand is too far over. There you go. YouTube.com slash buy. Make sure you subscribe. There you go. Dude, a lot of people. I. It's scary how many people I know, like, on YouTube. And they're just like, oh, by the way, buy my merchandise. That's a terrible accent. It's not anyone in particular. Um, but, but you know what I mean? I've got a research for Chack Attack. I've not built Chack Attack yet, but sure. Okay. Um, but you know what I mean? It's like there's a lot of people who, like, they sell their, like, specific t-shirts. I think it's just because the t-shirts are an easy way to get around, like, YouTube ad revenue. <laughs> when am I selling much? I could, I could sell much. I wanna, um, I know, like, Donkey's merch where, like, he sells, um, like, pins. I want to, like, figure out, like, some kind of, if I ever do merchandise, I want to figure out, like, some merchandise that people could... Well, rather, that isn't just competing directly against other people. Like, something cool. Something really neat, but isn't just t-shirts or hats or other things. Like, something... something original. I'm thinking posters don't get used a ton, but there's definitely posters around, and Dino Karts is on fire! And so is... this ride is about to die, and I don't trust Banana Blitz either. I'm, I don't trust catching it in time, so... Uh, let's check the, the loan while we're at it. Um... Yeah, posters seem kind of neat. Has put uh, a bomb in your oh, what else would you, you do? Cleaned up before people get sick. You could do plushies, but plushies are hot. <laughs> Cock pouch? <laughs> I guess you could. I guess you could. I don't- I- I've not- I can't say I've heard that one before. I can't- like, I- I know of it, but I can't say I'm- I don't- I know anyone else doing it. The gauntlet's been thrown down. You oh. have a new challenge. Check out the message for details. 500 profit in the next 60 days. Okay, that seems easy enough, because how many sideshows do I have? Uh... Listen, let's, uh, let's be a little bit meaner. Let's up the price of the games. Just by five. Will people be upset? Totally. But you know, that's that's the name of the game. Look, it's already 200. It's already 200. I'm a god. I'm a god, I tell you that. Um, I was gonna say costumes are kind of like crazy. Like, is there is there a person and they sell cheap merchandise of costumes of, I guess like, I don't know, it seems like an easy thing for VTuber kind of the crowds to do like just like do some like cheap wigs or just anything do they do any merch beyond t-shirts some joke i'd probably be worried if like someone was i'd already won clean up his i'm amazing you know what that means pay off the loan i'm debt free my life is complete congratulations you've mastered your challenge the prize is yours the prize is yours Thank you. Thank you, Black Dot Ant Thing. What is he supposed to be? I don't know. Keeps popping up on the screen. Okay, so Tom Tom Twister has an upgrade. Uh, which one was Tom Tom Twister? This is on Tom Tom Twister. There you go. Let's double check that I've got upgrades for things. Some of the visitors are getting a little wild, and your security uh, hasn't fully upgraded. Okay. Sure your I don't know what the, the easiest way to see what upgrades cameras. you have like available. I guess just you knowing which ones you brought to level three. Park. And frankly, they're a bad influence. You should put a stop to it before this kind of behavior. Or put spreads. more jumps in. You know, theme park Clippy. He is a bit of a Clippy kind of character. Which came first, Clippy or this guy? Clippy gives me like a Windows XP vibe, and Windows XP wasn't for a little bit. Clippy. Okay, so we've got Roller Coaster Tycoon and we've got Clippy, both inspired by this video game in in that order. In that order, there's no, no, no variants. I love how all my money's going away after I've paid off the loan, like... What was the monthly repayment? Like, 900 bucks? That doesn't seem like a crazy amount. <laughs> um... Sideshows are not exciting, but you know what? They're making way more money now. 
Actually, it's not about the excitement. It's about the satisfaction. If it's not if you're bored, it's that you're happy that you went to it. You know. Uh, speaking of happy that you went to, you're probably not happy about being on that ride when it breaks down. There's another ride in the works. Is it Gorilla Thriller? Is that the only one? And Inca Totem. Those are the two rides left. Oh, fi finally the super toilet's being invented as well. I can't believe it. Can't believe we're waiting this long before someone has invented a bigger toilet. <laughs> this is this is so stupid having a security camera in front of it. <laughs> Having signs in games is just like, it's the worst idea. It is the craziest idea. Although they did this before YouTube, but it's on them because I could also just take a picture and email it to all of my, all of my enemies. <laughs> Clippy camera office 97. Oh, okay. Okay. Clippy wins. Clippy wins. This game is inspired by Microsoft Office 97. Which is crazy, I think, what was the oldest word version I think I used? I think it must have been like 2000. Um, because it's like, my parents wanted to get very into productivity, um, after they had Windows 95? We were kind of like on the, on the bleeding edge of like, trying to do internet when it first came out, and that wasn't the most fun. Um, the internet, like, oh, not in 95, sorry, but like, at least like, I remember having a computer running Windows 95. And then another one later on running Windows 98. So the 95 one must have been at least like... You know, between... I don't know, I'd say 1999. So basically when this game came out. I don't think we had Microsoft Office because we were just like... Not using typewriter, but just, you know, how often do people need to write documents at home? Doesn't doesn't really come up too much. But now it comes up all the time. Isn't it crazy? The Mayan Spinner. Is that the one that I have? Which one is the Mayan Spinner? Oh, duh, it's the cheapo one. Very important. Very important upgrade. Oh my gosh, I can't get over these people, like, crashing. I also can't get over this picture. It's- it's a dinosaur. He's wearing a little, like... A like one of those- one of those silly hats. Feature, with the, um... Uh, it's almost got the cans with the straws coming out of it. Let's and then he's sitting in, like, some feature. kind of flower Take wreath or something. It's an amazing, amazing picture. We've done it. We've done it, everyone. Humanity was invented for this moment. For the super toilet to be invented. Okay, I am now hiring a very specific janitor just to handle this. Because this is not going to be fun for him. I don't know how many people the super toilet, like, this screen lets you holds. See details of a toilet. If that's what you really want to do. I, I love how he's got a specific line of dialogue for the toilets the as well. The but the toilets the are their own, their own bees. Delete the toilet, move it somewhere else, also, I love how they have a scrap value. Like, they change. Just how how clean the toilet is. Super Toilet felt like a clown car. It is! Look at this! No, it's not! It's taking forever! Yeah, okay. Tell me about the toy. Oh, oh. Why is this more popular than the balloon shop? More people are waiting for this like clown car toilet. What the heck? And security hasn't noticed. You should make sure what? that guards are Can I go in? Can I ride the ride? No. I don't have to go. Also be kind of creepy because it's a theme park for kids. I got to go in the staff room, I guess. That's where the adults pee. Although granted, like it's been uh 3 and a half years and uh and I'm holding it in. The weak source. You got. You can't hold it in, bro. Right. I'd love to. I'd still love to have a bit more money to build the log flume. Uh, also, yeah. If anyone legitimately knows, how do you increase the park size? Because obviously, based on this map, it's like there's a lot more ground around the park. 
There's all this area that's like completely not rendered, but it seems that like this is all you get. You could probably, I think you're fine. I think you'll just like fill it up. But it's like, that's with one of everything. Like you can't scale it to like crazy degrees. So I'm curious if like you can push it back. I, I can't recall off the top of my head ever doing it though. But I also can't recall really making money. And I seem to be doing okay at that. We've got the finances are coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a challenge. It was another challenge one. Uh, but the finances are coming in. The money in line. Actually, no, that was me to find something. We've discovered a new right. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, Splash Bash is uh, the other ride I, I don't have. That's good too. It's just just shy of my reach. Just out of my reach. People think your food is great. Oh, I guess we've already done nice the side one. show. So really, all that's left is two more rides. There's, there's really not too much left to to research in this. But alas, the money is not that quick. It's like the profit is like one thousand here. And if I if I get rid of the um the money out and then get rid of the breakdowns here like the staff costs is not particularly a crazy amount i should probably respond to this right about it's belly bounce again how many times has belly bounce broken like the stream like seven? Oh my goodness everything is breaking everything is about to cause bodily injury to every single person in this park amazing Amazing. Yeah, so I I can I can continue this uh, this game on next week if people really like it. I've enjoyed it a fair bit, and I thought this would be like, oh, you know, like I'd put it on autopilot and just kind of be like, this is a cool game. But I feel like uh, you know, there's the potential to show off all the other parks and just kind of go, hey, this is kind of how neat the game is in the other parks. This is this is what two hours of playing this game is like. It just you slowly develop, the music builds up, the atmosphere is there, you start complaining because the toilets are just... Oh, no one... No one solves the toilets problem, apparently. Um, and then you run into money troubles, uh, you ride your roller coaster. I never rode this. I'd probably be terrified because you can't even see anything else. You can see, see that guy over there. Oh, I am now a person. Someone is sucker enough to sit on this ride before the ride's actually started. Eureka, we've discovered a new ride. And now I've got the Gorilla Thriller, which is another roller coaster, by the way. There's a. You can. I don't think there's a. I'm not too sure if there is a limit on the number of roller coasters. I think you, it's purely just space. I know the PS1 version is like you're only allowed like two of the track roller coasters, and then you're only allowed so many pylons. Uh, and then it runs into frame rate problems, anyways. But this is like, well, I mean, it's as good as your PC wants to render it. Although you can't zoom the camera out too far, it's pretty zoomed in. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's a pretty fun, fun game. I'll definitely uh, be curious to, you know, see what you all think about uh, the other parks in the future. Uh, in the upcoming weeks. But uh, it's the end of June, so I shall call it there. Call it there. I hope you all enjoyed watching that. Uh, it's a new save. Maybe I should call the save something. Blendo is streaming. Oh, street. Blendo is street. There you go. Uh, last one. I'm just going to exit to the lobby because I want to show you exactly. Also, yeah, you can just leave a park and come back. Um, it's Play all fine. You want to uh, but yeah, we can enter the Halloween world in the next stream. Uh, handle on the Wonderland, the, the stream after that. And uh, space zone. It's in space. So, that's cool. Yeah, no. And uh, if you look very closely, yes, that sign is indeed saying Blendo plays dinosaur games. I love it. So, Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this stream, you can just follow. I'm just going to stream. I stream at this time every week. And VODs end up on YouTube. And that's about it. Uh, that's all I do. I do not have merchandise. So if you wanna, if you wanna buy merchandise, you can just buy, um, what can you buy? What is something that I can plug? I have absolutely no affiliation to anything. I guess the Steam sales ending? No cock pouch? 
You can buy me a cock pouch. You can, you can just you can give it to me, and I will go, ah yes, thank you, XYZ, you bought me a cock pouch, I shall wear it indoors all the time. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Uh, and for all, for all you, have a good week, have a fun, uh, if you play this game, enjoy the game, and if you play any other games, enjoy that too, so, sleep tight, look both ways before you cross the road, eat your greens, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone.